One of the most common and daunting challenges for orthodontists is correcting skeletal class 2 malocclusions. While headgear, elastics, and other devices treat class 2 cases, none simultaneously correct malocclusions while advancing the mandible. But all that has changed, thanks to Advanced Sync. Advanced Sync makes it possible to eliminate two distinct treatment phases and achieve skeletal correction and dental correction at the same time. With the Advanced Sync Molar to Molar Appliance, M to M, you get Class 2 correction in Class 1 time. The reason is simple. Advanced Sync is an evolution in Herbst treatment designed to advance the mandible to a Class 1 position in just 6 to 9 months while the patient has been bonded upper and lower 5 to 5. Advanced Sync provides maximum comfort and an incredible range of motion, dramatically improving the patient experience. As with earlier Herbst technology, Advanced Sync eliminates patient compliance. And results? Advanced Sync produces stable skeletal changes and it's ideal for patients in mixed or permanent dentition. Take a look at the results you can get. Advanced Sync M2M is delivered at the initial bonding appointment and takes only six to nine months, in most cases, to complete treatment. Patients are seen every six to 12 weeks. It starts by advancing the mandible to the desired end position and is reset at two to four millimeters every 12 weeks. And remember, all this happens simultaneously with brackets placed upper and lower five to five. Molars are bracketed when the M2M treatment is complete. Advanced Sync M2M advances the mandible while restraining maxillary growth and clinical research shows these changes to have true, long-term effect. It immediately improves the patient's jaw position and generates forward growth of the glenoid fossae with minimal changes in the position of the condyles in the fossae. Developed in collaboration with Dr. Terry Dishinger, one of the world's leading Class II thought leaders, Advanced Sync M2M has a number of distinct advantages, including no dependency on patient cooperation and no need for parental monitoring. Advanced Sync's arms are 50% shorter than those used in existing Herbst appliances, minimizing mouth discomfort and cheek irritation. The appliance sits further back in the mouth, making it less noticeable than other available options. Patient adjustment is very quick. M2M doesn't interfere with daily activities and, unlike removable appliances, there are no speech problems. But even with all those advantages, Perhaps the most important benefit is that Advanced Sync gives you the ability to treat Class 2s in only 6 to 9 months while simultaneously moving teeth. Plus, Advanced Sync is easy for doctor and staff to learn, making it easy to integrate into the clinic. Advanced Sync makes correcting Class 2s easy for doctors and staff. It allows freedom of mechanics mesial to the molar crowns. All teeth through the bicuspids are bonded. The design is simple and streamlined, and activation is built in, so there's no need to change the arms for final activation. Here's how it works. Remove separators between teeth to seat crowns. Fit crowns on teeth one at a time, and then remove to prevent aspiration, checking the size and length of the crowns. The clinician should document any large restorations on the teeth that are receiving crowns, as the crowns may need to be partially cut at the end of class 2 correction. Crowns should slide over the teeth with some resistance and slide down on the occlusal surface without pinching or blanching the soft gingival tissue. If the crown is too long, you'll need to shorten it so that it doesn't impinge on the tissue. Once you shorten a crown, you'll need to crimp it around the gingival edges with a how plier to tighten the crown so it snaps over the tooth. Once the crown has reached approximately three-fourths of its seating position with thumb pressure, use a bite stick to complete seating. A band removing plier will aid in removing the crown from the tooth. Dry appliance and all components thoroughly. If you've made significant adjustments to the crowns, you may wish to re-crimp if necessary and re-micro etch them. If you re-crimp, try not to overwork the metal edges of the crown. If you re-micro etch the crowns, separate the mechanism from the crown, as the etching material will get inside the telescoping rods, causing it to stick. Dip the screw for the upper assembly in an Sika bond. Line the upper tube's lumen with the casing on the maxillary crown and secure the screw. 
This is an important procedure because the Sika bond will keep the screws